I was asked by a friend to uh, remove the vocals from a soundtrack for use in a wedding where someone else would be actually be singing the vocals part. Uh, I found a nice tutorial about how to do this on Audacity, but there was a significant problem with it. Uh, so I go ahead and open up the song here in Audacity, which is a free tool. And I have the track here and listen to it. So there's a very strong vocal component there as well as a very strong bass component there. So to be able to get rid of this, did the usual split the tracks, um, select one track, invert it. Uh, set both tracks to mono, and that gets rid of the vocals. Problem with this is, though, the bass is completely gone. To get around this, we go and undo that. Head back to undo or invert. Select the channel that you're going to invert. Let's first run it through a uh, high-pass filter. What this will do is it will get rid of everything um, below that so that when I invert it, it does not cancel out the bass from the opposite track so when I collapse them together into a mono track it's not a problem in this case I selected 60 Hertz and a negative 20 cutoff um, so go ahead and apply that now invert set both tracks to mono and so the vocals are a little bit more prevalent than before, but the bass line is still there and not completely lost. One other nice feature about this is later on, there's some backup singers, which is fine in this case because there's only one primary singer. Um, the primary singer from the track is gone, so the person singing live would be fine, but the backup track will still be there. <laughs> So uh, then you can just export this as a wave and do whatever. Um, I just thought some people would find this useful. The high pass trick was, of course, kind of obvious when you think about it, but it tended to not be so much. Uh, it took a lot of dinking around to figure it out. You can always apply other filters, such as bass boost, to bring it up a little bit more, but it tends to get a little noisy and starts to clip a lot. Uh, thanks.